All right, so tell me, what do you think about Finland so far? Are you kidding me? This has been ridiculous. This place is beautiful. We've done all these cool activities with huskies, horses, snowmobiles, and we're just getting started. That's right. We have so much more to come in the next few days. Everything's so different than what we've already done, and I'm really crossing my fingers that we see the Northern Lights. The second half of our Finland trip starts now. <gasps> I'm Mike. And I'm Tanil. And ever since I was a little girl, I've wanted to travel to every corner of the world. Yeah, and now that we're engaged, I get to be a part of every adventure. So the only question is... Where to next, honey? Come on, Mike. Let's go. Reindeer are waiting for us. <laughs> Morning run. Now, of course, Rudolph has become the most famous reindeer of all, but reindeer sleds have been a part of Finnish culture for about 500 years, so we wanted to see what it was all about. As the saying goes, when in Rome. You mean, when in Finland? Forget it. Yes, and this is Otikus. Onikus, maybe? O Onikus, the that's, lucky reindeer. That's, that's his, his butt. butt. <laughs> <laughs> the lucky butt. Get the one behind you. Flip In it back. fact, we made He's some lucky, lucky droppings. Alright, I don't know if this is how it's supposed to be, but <laughs> our guy is right next to us. I feel a little bit in danger. Alright, we're separating now. I think I'm safe. Whoa. He's trying to overtake us. Nowhere to go, bud. Please don't bore me. That looks steep, dude. You ready for this? Uh, how do I do it? Well, it's onto the frozen lake, and you can hear the water running just on the other side of the bridge over there, so hopefully you don't fall in. Some people take the stairs, some people toboggan. I got so much up my back. I got I panicked a little bit. <laughs> Why did you try to take me out? So Michael, that is a traditional Lapish dish. Reindeer with cranberries and pickle um, on a mashed potato bed. Go ahead yeah. and try it. Okay. And wait, what's that? It's my second entree. The second meal. Two, two meals meal. for each dish. I mean, ah! Two dishes for each meal. Oh yeah, that's good. Oh yeah, that's good. It is good but I'm exhausted. It's been an action-packed day, so oh, let's okay. go wind down with another Finnish tradition. I'm down with that. Can you tell me about this outfit here? This with is the, the camera, you're kind of like a news reporter, but in a one-piece <laughs> bathing suit this and the, socks. I need to film you going into the cold plunge and I'm not going in, so I need to be a bit warm. Let's go. Okay. Now this guy right here is UC. He's the owner of the entire Kaukslauten and Arctic Resort. His story is so impressive. After running out of gas and stumbling across this Arctic haven by chance, he turned it into an iconic worldwide resort. Yeah, you'll hear the rest of his really cool story when you come here yourself, but what I love most about UC is just how down to earth he is. He heated our smoke sauna personally so we can get warm after we do this cold plunge that I'm getting ready to do right now. Let's see, wait. It's a frozen lake. And it's pitch black in there, too. This is like... It's something out of the scary moon. I don't want to do this. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Ooh, that's cold. Oh my gosh. Ooh. 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 Almost controlled the breath. I'm gonna skip the ice plunge, but I'm going to go Ooh. to the finish sauna. For sure. 
Smoke sauna. Let's do it. I need to warm up. Oh yeah, now we're talking. Oh yeah, that is more my pace. <laughs> We made it to Rivanemi. We did. We spent a lot of time in the wilderness at Kaukslautinen. <laughs> uh, but we wanted to spend some time in the city, so here we are. And I'm oh feeling pretty Christmassy now. How about you? Um, yeah, it's feeling Christmassy. I'm excited for a really good dinner tonight. One of the best steak dinners in the city. And uh, it's so cute. The city is so cute. We yeah. love it. Let's check it out. So, for those that don't know. Rovanemi is the official hometown of Santa Claus. Got this massive tree. And look at all these beautiful lights. And here we are. This is our hotel for our city stay. All right, go ahead, open it. Let's see here. Have you ever opened a bottle before? Twist it. It's a twist. See the no 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 <laughs> no. I think that would have worked. See see this thing, it needs to twist. Yeah, duh. Okay, go for it. Duh, everyone knows that. See now you can loosen it. <gasps> <gasps> I didn't know that was gonna come straight off. <laughs> I thought I was then gonna have to do the gimmick. Did you just pull that in my bag? I did. Yep. So. Okay. This is Mike's first time having escargot. I'm not. What am I eating here? I'm not totally sure. Escargot is snails, I believe. Where is it? Where are the snails? <laughs> uh, they should be in there. Am I supposed to use this tiny spoon or the tiny fork? I, I imagine the tiny. Oh, geez, I don't know. I think you're supposed to use the bread. Oh, okay. You like it? Really? Okay, enjoying the escargot. Mm -hmm. And this is the reindeer carpaccio. It looks great. Very nicely presented. Okay. Potato. Let's see. Potato, a little mushroom, a little parmesan cheese. Microgreens and aioli. Reindeer. Well, I'm being very adventurous trying the reindeer two ways. Tennille got a steak. Hey, I just tried the reindeer carpaccio. Aren't you proud of me? Sure. <laughs> All right, well, just let me have dessert and then let's go to the sauna and relax. The sauna sounds great. And as you can see, even though it's very cold here in Finland, the Finnish people are making sure that we warm back up. Just waiting for you. You want to steam it up in here a little bit? I guess so. Oh my. <laughs> Whoa. I'm steam. All right, we're on our way through the winter wonderland to ice fish. We're gonna drill holes in the ice today and then hopefully get some fish and uh, the guy's gonna start a fireplace for us and cook some food up. It's pretty cool. You'd call that I mean, a fireplace, not just like a fire. Stuff. You like to anyway, call. Anyway, look, this is all our, our gear, our seats, our fishing rods. We are ready to go and going for a walk through the forest. This makes or breaks the entire trip if I catch a fish or not. I must catch and eat a fish today. Do not let me down. I won't. You know that I want fish. Harder. Okay, so now. Up. Just a bit full power. No, just keep going. Keep going. 
a little bit back. Yes, I know down, up, down, up, down. Yep. Shows. You're not going to do a little jig dance for us? Wow, sick jig dance, Mike. Thank you. What is it? Sausage? Okay. Um, Sausage? Uh, <laughs> Duh. <Watermelon. laughs> It's watermelon. <laughs> it looks different in America. Yeah, just different. <laughs> Glad everyone could have a laugh at my expense, but we've warmed back up. We've had our sausage. It's time to go try fishing again. You're getting desperate, aren't you? Well, I learned just. You snapped your reel. It was I had faulty yeah, equipment. Use a kid's reel instead. <laughs> I had faulty equipment the whole time, and I've basically only been fishing for ten minutes. And I don't think we're gonna catch anything, but it's beautiful out here. We're sitting here. Mike's having a moment, guys. Giant rock. He's come a long way from catching a fish, making Welcome or breaking the trip. Let's listen in all these trees and nature and it's just overwhelming and uh, I just feel grateful mm -hmm. I feel so small but a part of something so big you know that's beautiful we made it right the Arctic Circle line right there I still don't know what that means Do you? Uh, I, I mean, really I understand it's like the beginning of the Arctic, but like, what? how are we classifying that? What determines It's like the that? furthest north. Where the North Pole. This is Sanders' there place. Is, we <laughs> can go further north than this, though. We were just further north in Coxlaughton. Coxlaughton. Do you remember that place? Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Uh-oh, are you mad at me? We're here in Santa Claus Village taking in all of the Christmas spirit and we just finished our dinner at this great restaurant, Coda Hobie. We decided to have the overcooked pork, which actually just means tender as hell. It was honestly one of the best meals I've ever had. Yeah, so much so that we forgot to film most of the meal, but Enjoy this last bite that Tanil has. I enjoy it. Clean plate club, huh? Well, that's our last night in Ravanemi. Last night in Finland, period. In Lapland, correct. Okay. And we have not seen the Northern Lights yet. So we're out here hunting them on our final night, and we'll do whatever it takes. We're not going to stop. Fingers crossed we see them. Yes. That's hard to do. It's so cold. It's pretty cold, but we're committed. We're going to do it. Wish us luck. All right. This is your... This is it. This is your shot. You're really going to do it that high? Yeah. You got time. We don't have time for this. Ah, oh, dude. So much smoke in the eye. The conditions are clear. There is solar activity. And we do catch a brief glimpse of the northern lights. Unfortunately, it's not the brilliant display of Aurora Borealis that we were hoping for. But that just makes me want to come back and try again. And look. The last day of our trip, oh the gosh. sun finally shows itself for the first time. Seeing this beautiful sunrise slash sunset on our last day that we didn't know was even there in a part of the city we didn't know was even there just goes to show you that you may set out for one thing on your journey and find something completely different. Are you doing the different. philosophical thing again? Yeah, I guess I was. Oh my gosh. You're not going to do this every episode, are you? I think I might. We have so many places to go, dude. Well, let me ask you this. Where, Where to, to next, honey? honey? <laughs> we did it. Mm.